Okay, so I got my papers on to the other side, and I'm going to cut off the excess by turning it over so I can see where the card ends. If you were good at it, you could probably do it with your paper cutter machine thingy, slicer, dicer. And I think I want to keep this little piece right here because when I put it together at the end right here, like you can see a little bit. So I'm going to add that on, grab some glue, okay, all done. some little goodies also from the same person and my good friends crafty friends actually she may be the only crafty friends I I know that I can think of besides there's one lady I knew from church a while back She's kind of crafty too. Most of the stuff she does is sewing, but she used to be more like scrapbooking. Now she does a different kind. She does chalk culture or something like that. Anyway, I do have a few. I just don't realize it sometimes when you stay at home a lot with your kids. Okay. There's the trifold. Let's see what we want to add. I like this little tag. Let's see if it matches well. I think it does. Do I want to add the tag to it somehow? Or I like where'd it go? There's one says when and it says cherish and it says it had to be you so I don't work with this kind of stuff very much so I don't really know how to use it very much I have to think hard because usually I make my own stuff I'm still making my own stuff I suppose um, let's see. We need to hit it with some kind of ink. Grab my old stand bar here. Uh oh, my arm's in the way. Boop, there I am. Sorry about that. I had to reach over you get to it. Now, I have a little marker. One thing that's good about this markers from the Dollar Tree is even though the lid got lost, it still works. Isn't that neat? Oh, there it was. Okay. Under this side, so I don't like the white, 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 white. It looks too new. <laughs> Now 
Now you start at the edge and make a little half circles inward. And you have both sides done. And I'll probably put some of my little piece of shirt here. That's exactly what it is. I learned a new technique from That's Just Penny. If you haven't seen her, she's pretty smart about things. Okay, so watch this. It's pretty cool. Put your line of glue. Then you add your material. The nozzle of your glue gun. And just wrinkle it up so that you have little gathers without even using a sewing machine. That's so cool. Okay, then I'm going to cut off cut a little bit more glue at the end. And gather, gather, gather. I feel so like I've learned something brilliant because of that. It's so brilliant. Now I'm going to add a little jewelry to the mix. And your key. That's going to look awesome. Like so. Oh, wrong key. I always have this one key that has a hole in it where you can't use the little thing at the top. Okay, now put it in the fabric. And voila! Oops, I forgot to cover up my ink. Okay, now let's see how she's looking. Looking good. You probably need to ink off all the edges now that I shut it. Hmm. I'm trying to think, do I want black on that? Eh. Brown is good. I think I want to lay it down for this. wrinkle there that will come in handy for making good aging. Is somebody exploding in the house? I heard some beeping noises. Okay. Going all the way around. And number one's almost finished. Just almost. It's got words, it's got fabric, it's even got jewelry. Turn this. I really need to get all that so that it looks more finished. And I might take it to a sewing machine off camera. I don't have that in the same room with me. I wish I did. I wish I had everything in the same room. A huge, huge craft room. Wouldn't that be nice? But we work with what we got and be happy for what we have. Okay, that side's done good. We work on this side. I'm going to let you see that. 
too. Isn't that pretty? Very aged looking. On. Are you working on something special for someone? Today I sent something special to somebody. A journal I've had for a while. And I kept thinking somebody should get it. And so had my sons take it to the post office and it got off I sent it to a relative of mine I bet she will really enjoy it because it was a journal for nurses and she's a nurse Okay, I think that's all I'm doing with that one. I have these cute little pins she gave me too. Aren't they cute? I don't know if they match well on that one. But I'm going to hold it together with that for now. Let's go to the next one. these on it too. Let me see. Maybe I I don't know. How would that work? Maybe, maybe not. The top they already have that. It looks fine with just with that. Okay. Onward. I think I want this one to be a blue one in some way. So we'll start with the blue on the inside. Hold your noses. Here it goes again. Whoop. Whoop. Hit the wrong button, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Here we go. I'll be doing something one day and find out I glued something to something else accidentally, aren't I? And you're going to be laughing because you saw me do it. Okay, I have this. This is like an old fan popsicle sticky thing. And I have glue on it, hot glue. Makes a great little smoother sprayer, what do you want to call it? Okay, now turn it over. Extra off. For some reason, this doesn't cut very good. I think it's because it's got like little jewels in the paper. Kind of weird. I haven't seen it before. Okay. extra off. Now I had a plan one time to add this piece. <laughs> I haven't lost it already. Here it is I think. Nope that's not it. It looks like that color. Here it is. I want to put this like this. Like so. Okay. Not gonna let me I think I'll just use the glue for that. Uh oh. Can get the lid on. My claim to fame is not getting the lid on. I mean to. I really do. I get to working and I lose my brain. Surely I'll never do that. Probably not. Because you don't have as many kids as I do. Who can tell me how many I've kids I have from watching my videos? 
Make a guess. Come on. What are you waiting on? Anyway, I got it on. Now, I need something to put right here because because it is got a hole right there. Let's see. I've got these thingies I want to put there. These little it says always remember and marvelous. Is are they going to work? Maybe I can put the always remember right there and cover that guy up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or maybe they don't match at all. Hmm. Let's close it. Uh oh. That's going to stick out. That ain't going to work because they don't match. Alright, next thought. You, I could just cut something that fits. Bam. Like that. And put it in. <laughs> and then whoever gets it can find the weird piece on the. It's like looking at it. Mom, this doesn't match the rest of it. The kids. Okay. Now. Could put that there. Over all of that. Then I can't have this. So we're going to do something there. Let's see. Let's just do some of this. so good. Oops. The bottom needs more. And don't worry about all that mess I'm making right there. You're not going to have it when we're done. Okay. Bam. I'm going to get out some supplies that I also have in my store. Let's see what we can do. The newest supply I have is book page strips. Would they look good? Maybe. And I could put these kind of strips. Eh, I think I want the book page. I can find some skinnier ones. But, I still need to be skinny. That's a really skinny spot. And, bam, bam. I want just the words on this one. Sometimes I want more. Okay, that's going down. Another good one. Need to be a little kind of skinnier. About there, I think. So, a little girl we were babysitting. Her mom brought her into a daycare, so. Unfortunately, she is gone. She was a cutie pie. A lot of work, but a cutie pie. But the little boy, he's still coming after school. Alright, we got that on.
I think I like that. copyright problems. Okay, so that looks good, I think. Now I have a little fold out. Actually, let's see. Let's fold it all up. No, I haven't done this side yet. Just want to see how it fits together. Ooh, that'll be a nice little closure. The only thing I didn't think of is I should have covered that before I put the back um, this thing on. But you can't think of everything when you're me. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. So. Now for figuring out what we're going to put on the other side of this fold-out. Got to get those creases good. Make it a big collage. We could do that. I don't know. Green. Bluish would be good. I have a bunch of papers here. Oh, they're disappearing. Quickly. Let's see if I have some of them in a different location. Okay. Got all this stuff. Let's see if I can find some more bluish colors. Blue, where are you? Maybe a coordinating color. What about? Ooh, that looks pretty together. We will do that. Make it quick. Stuck it on. Okay, ready for the glue. Oh, so sad that I didn't get that. Maybe it'll be like, you call it embossed in. That would be neat, wouldn't it? Okay, try not to overspray anywhere. little presser thingy I had. I think it disappeared. I will use scissors. I will use that thing. Oopsie. I don't want that to go down. a little bit. I can cut that off. Let's start this way. I'm 
really don't know what kind of papers these are. Maybe Bow Bunny? I know she sells that at her store. Or she did at one time. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did that get off of there? Maybe I just never put it down. My husband called a little bit ago when he heard the phone ring. I thought it was just, you know, one of those telemarketers like it usually is. <laughs> but it wasn't. Not this time. Okay. Folding. Whenever I crease it, it kind of breaks the paper, which is okay, because then when it's broke like that, it takes the ink good. If that happens to you, don't freak out. Spit it with some ink. And then maybe put some glue on it afterwards to make sure it doesn't crack anymore. And rub it in good. And I need to trim this part because it doesn't go all the way to the end. Well, that's okay. Ooh, you know what I could do? I make a fancy end to it. It's going to be going like so. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Cut it off again. edge to it. But if it does, I will fix it. That did. <laughs> Smash it down. It's like it never was there. Okay. corners and just a little bit on everything else and get have that vintage look oh, weathered and if you've been working with vintage stuff for a long you you'll find out that some of it has been so well cared for it looks new it doesn't even have a weathered look so funny. You have to add some ink to it to make it look like it's what it is. <laughs> kind of funny. a little bit too big. Mmm. Sad. But this other one might work. Yeah, that'll work. Almost done. 
As always, remember. Uh oh, I see. That's what I never did fix because I was going to use my edge cutter on it, maybe. Yeah, it'll look pretty. I have two edge cutters. I think this one's more appropriate than the other one. No, it may not work. Because it's so thick. Uh, now I'm going to have to cut it further. Oh, well. You live and learn. I could use these. That would look good. If I get it straight. the pinks and the blues and the Okay, so I got that inked up real nice. Now I'm going to put this other blue piece that I have. I think that's what I'm going to use. And there. I don't like that edge. It's perforated. different around the edges. Now this isn't as thick as the other. Maybe I can make these edges nice. Maybe right here. piece of your dauber so it'll fit in there. There's other tools you can use besides what I have. But it works. Some people use like a makeup sponge. Some people have a little brush they use. Maybe I'll get all of that one day. I did have a makeup sponge. I didn't end up liking it or something. Hello, it's me, Jennifer. And my friend did show up today. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh, there I am. <laughs> I can see me too. <laughs> oh, 
we're getting ready to do another video. Are y'all ready? Hit that like button if you like me. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, he had to go. Um, but what he was trying to say is, we're gonna do another video on trifolds with um, junk mailers. These um, are some political ones. Let's see what else I got. Looks like a hospital one and another dentistry one. So here we go. Let's get on board. I really love this paper my friend gave me. Yes. I've had this for a little while now, but I've been using it up little by little. And I think this will fit right on the page nicely. Yep. We'll do the whole thing. Then we can decorate. I really like that side, so I will do it like so. Let me get some glue. My daughter might want to leave the room because she doesn't like smells. Now I'm going to turn the fan on. But we're going to glue with my Loctite spray adhesive. Because it's fast. And I like fast. And down it goes. Easy breezy. can will probably last a very long time because it still feels full and I've used it many times. Okay, now for the other side to find something else. I'm going to go ahead and fold that again. While I'm thinking about what I want for the other side. So pretty. That is going to look good. Okay. Now we need this side. Now I've got these little pages. I think I have one, two. I may not have enough of them. I wonder if this will coordinate or not. Let's see. I have some of the same colors, but I don't like them together. That's out. I still have a little bit of that. Ooh, this color looks nice. Eh, a little bit too dark. Mm, not sure about that one. Maybe. Let's see. If we put it this way, then we add that to the end. Oh yeah, that coordinates real well. And then to the other side, we put that. I think we have it. Okay. Let's get started on the other side. Hold your noses. Good thing Llama's not here right now. He had to go. He does not like that smell. Oh, I just noticed that has another side to it. Do I like that side better? I might. Did you make that go away, son? Okay. No, I think I still like this side. And 